Hello, my little woolies. Today, we're going to learn how to knit this adorable v-neck raglan for babies between 0 to 3 months old. There are two videos for this tutorial. This is the first one. You will find the second one on the description box below and also at the end of this video. To knit the jacket, you will need 110 grams of wool, 4 mm knitting needles or 6 US size, 4 buttons, 1 marker, and the tapestry needle. Before starting, please check your gauge. 22 stitches and 29 rows equals 10 by 10 centimeters or 4 by 4 inches. You can find the reading instructions on my website and there is a link below this video on the description box for you. First we will knit the back of the jacket and we cast on 49 stitches. And now we're going to knit seven rows and one by one rib stitch. First and every odd row, pour one, knit one. That's the wrong side of the work. And repeat, pour one, knit one. Keep doing this until the end of the row. Here we're about to finish. Pour one, net one, ending with pour one, but only in this first row we are going to purl through the back loop, not the normal way. So you can avoid a huge loop there. Second and every even row. The repeat is net one, pearl one. Again, net one, pearl one. Continue doing this until the end of the row. Net one, pearl one, ending with net one. So repeat this last two rows until you have seven rows in total. After the seven rows, this is the right side of the work, and you know it because you have the yarn coming from the cast on on the left side. Now we're going to knit in stocking at stitch. Twenty eight rows. First and every odd row, knit across. We knit every stitch until the end. Second and every even row, purl across. We will purl every stitch from the last one, from the first one to the last one, sorry. And we repeat these two rows 13 more times until we have 28 in total. Now we're going to do the raglan decreases. First, we need to bind off three stitches netwise for the armhole. One, 
two, and three. Keep knitting until the end of the row. And now for the other armhole, we're going to bind off three stitches purl wise. We purl the first, purl the second, and pass the stitch over. Purl the next and pass the stitch over. And the next and pass the stitch over. And keep purling until the end of the row. Now to do the raglan decreases, we knit two stitches. And now we slip one, slip the next, put them both onto the back, onto the left hand needle, and knit them together. That's a left leaning decrease. Keep knitting every stitch until there are only four stitches left. And now knit two together. That's a right leaning decrease. Knit two. The following row is a rest row. We just purl every stitch. There are no decreases here. So repeat these two last rows, the one of the decreases on the right side of the work and the poor one, until you have 25 stitches left. Now we're going to do a double decrease. We need the first two stitches. Slip the following as if to knit. Knit the next two stitches together and pass the stitch you slipped over this last one. Keep knitting until there are only five stitches left. And now knit three stitches together. That's another double decrease. Net two. The following is another rest row. Just purl every stitch. No decreases there. Repeat these last two rows until you have only 13 stitches left. And then bind off knitwise. That means knit one, knit the following, and pass the stitch over the last one and repeat. Knit one and pass the stitch over. So we have closed 13 stitches. Now you just need to curl the yarn, leaving a little bit of tail. 
and your back is finished. To knit the sleeves, we are going to cast on 29 stitches. And now we will knit seven rows and one by one rib stitch as we did for the back. First and every odd row, pour one, knit one. That's the repeat. Pour one, knit one. And keep doing this until the end of the row. Pour one, knit one, pour one, but this last one, only in the first row, we are going to pull through the back loop. So you don't have a huge stitch there. Second and every even row, knit one, pour one. That's the repeat. Knit one, pour one. Knit one, pour one. Until the end of the row. Knit one, pour one. Ending with knit one. Repeat these last two rows until you have seven rows in total. Now we're going to knit six rows in stockinet stitch. That means first, third and fifth row, knit across, knit every stitch until the end of the row, Second, fourth, and sixth row, pour every stitch. Until the end of the row. Repeat these two last rows until you have six rows in total, in stock and in stitch. And now we're going to do some increases. To shape the sleeve. Knit one, yarn over, and knit every stitch until there is only one stitch left. When you get there, yarn over again and knit the last one. Second row, we are going to purl every stitch, but the yarn over to avoid the hole there, we purl it through the back loop. Keep purling until you reach the yarn over again on the other side of the row. And repeat. Purl the yarn over through the back loop so you don't get a hole there. And purl the last stitch. We have increased two stitches. Now we're going to knit four more rows in stockinette stitch without doing any increase. So we have six rows in total 
and then we will repeat these six rows two more times. So you will have increased six stitches in total. You will end up with 35 stitches. In summary, we have needed seven rows in one by one rib stitch, then six rows in stockinette stitch, and then we have needed the six rows with the increases three times. We have 35 stitches. And now we will need five more rows in stockinette stitch or until the piece measures 10.5 centimeters. Now to shape the armholes, we're going to bind off three stitches knitwise. Knit the first one, knit the second one and pass the stitch over. Knit the following one and pass the stitch over and knit and pass the stitch over. Keep knitting until the end of the row. Knit every stitch until the last one. And now we will bind off three stitches purlwise. Purl the first, purl the second and pass the stitch over. Pour the following and pass the stitch over. And pour and pass the stitch over. And keep purling until the end of the row. Now we're going to do the raglan decreases. Knit the first two stitches. Now slip one knitwise, slip the other one knitwise and put them back, back onto the left hand needle and knit them together. That's a left leaning decrease. We have decreased one stitch. Keep knitting until there are only four stitches left. And knit two together, knit two. That's a right leaning decrease. We have decreased one stitch. Knit two. This second row is just a rest row, no decreases here. We just pull every stitch until the end of the row. Exactly the same that we did for the back. Keep repeating these two last rows until there are only seven stitches left. So we are there now, just about to finish the sleeve. When there are only seven stitches left, your sleeve looks like this. And now we're going to knit two and we will make a double decrease. Slip one, knit the following two together and pass the stitch that you slipped over the last one, ending with knit two. Now we will bind off purlwise these five stitches. Purl one, purl the next and pass the stitch over. Purl the next and pass the stitch over. And repeat. Cut the yarn, leaving a little bit of tail and put it through the loop and your sleeve 
is finished. Now you need to knit the second one. To knit the right front, we are going to cast on 27 stitches. And now we're going to knit seven rows in one by one rib stitch as we did before. But when there are only four stitches left, we are going to place the marker. So, first, third, and fifth row, the repeat is pour one, knit one. Pour one, knit one, and continue. We will end with pour one, and now we place the marker and knit these last four stitches. This will be the edge of the jacket. The marker is just to remind us that we need to knit these four stitches in every row. So second, fourth and sixth rows, knit four, slip the marker, and now comes the repeat, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, ending with knit one. Repeat these last two rows until you have seven rows in total. Now we're going to knit 27 rows in stockinette stitch. That means we will knit every stitch in every odd row until the end of the row. And second and every even row we will purl until the last four stitches that we know we have to knit. So keep purling and when you get to the marker, slip the marker and end the row knitting these four stitches. So repeat these two rows until you have 27 rows in stockinette stitch. So we are here now. We have knitted 7 rows in 1 by 1 rib stitch, then 27 rows in stockinette stitch, always keeping the 4 stitches for the edge, and now we're going to bind off for the armhole and do the v-neck shape and also the raglan shape at the same time. After the 27 rows we're facing the wrong side of the work and now we will bind off three stitches purlwise for the armhole. So we purl two and pass one stitch over the other. Purl another one and pass the stitch over and purl the other one and pass the stitch over. And keep purling until you reach the marker. Now slip the marker and knit the last four stitches. So now we're going to decrease. After the first net stitches. 
This will be the decrease to shape the V-neck. Slip the marker and now slip one net ways. This is a left leaning decrease. Slip the other one, put them together onto the left hand needle and knit them together. We have decreased one stitch. Keep knitting until there are only four stitches left. And now knit two together, knit two. That was the first row of the decreasing section. The second row is a purl row, a rest row. We won't decrease anything here. So purl every stitch until you reach the marker and knit the last four. Third decrease row. Now we are not going to decrease for the v-neck but only for the raglan shape. So we knit the first four stitches, slip the marker, and keep knitting until there are only four stitches left. And now knit two together, knit two. The fourth row of the decrease section is again a rest row. We will purl every stitch until you reach the marker and then you will knit the last four stitches. Okay, now repeat these last four rows until there are only 10 stitches left. Now we are here. We are about to finish. So now you have 10 stitches on your needle and we are going to knit five four, you don't need the marker anymore, five. And now we will do a double decrease. Slip one, knit wise, knit the following two together, and pass the slipped stitch over, ending with knit two. Next row, purl four stitches, and knit the last four. Next row, knit four, And now we will do a double decrease again. Slip one as if to knit, knit the following two together and pass the slipped stitch over this last one, ending with knit one. Next row, purl two, knit four. 
Now you have six stitches on your needle. Next row. Knit one. Slip one as if to knit. Slip the following one. Put them back on the onto the left hand needle and knit them together and knit three. Next row, purl one, knit two together, knit two. You have four stitches left. Now we're going to knit 11 rows in garter stitch. That means you knit every stitch of every row until you have 11 rows in total. When you reach the 12th row, we will bind off knitwise. This will be the wrong side of the work. So knit two and pass one stitch over the other. Knit the following and pass the stitch over and knit the last one and pass the stitch over. Now cut the yarn leaving a little tail, put it through the loop and we have finished our right front.